Hi, I'll be showing you how to use SoTrender to analyze your social media profiles and generate reports. So depending on the type of plan you have, you can include a different number of profiles. You can also include your competitors' profiles, but you won't have access to all of their statistics. You need to have access to a profile's insights if you want to look at Instagram or Facebook. For moderation, at the very least, you need to have the role of a moderator. So the first thing that you're going to notice after you've made your profile is that your whole screen is going to be pretty much empty. So what you need to do is you need to actually add a profile for any one of these four channels. For the sake of this video, we're going to select a Facebook profile. I'll select the SoTrender one just to get things going and because it's easier. Now that you've connected your profile, you should be able to access it from your Analytics tab. Click on your profile and you'll be taken to the Overview. Okay, so now we're going to change the time range. I'm interested in analyzing a custom date range, so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to select October. You can select any of these other options, but I just personally felt like analyzing this time frame. Okay, now you're going to see that all of your data has loaded again, and this time you have data from that point in time. Now we're going to go ahead and open the Audience tab for some more specific metrics. The Audience tab will show you what are the characteristics of the people who follow you or like your social media accounts. As usual, you can see their user demographics, but you'll also be able to see things like when they're active, how the audience is segmented, and so on. You'll also be able to see how your user demographics have changed over time and how to filter out the groups that you aren't interested in. Next, we'll look at the reach and engagement metrics. As long as you have an insights profile, you'll be able to see both brand and user engagement. Under brand activities, you'll see what your moderators or page managers did in a selected period of time. We keep track of reactions, comments, and posts made by those managing a page. You might notice a peak in your engagement around a specific date. To find out what caused the peak, you can click on the day the peak occurred or the day before. Overall, it makes your job a little bit easier. The last analytics tab will open is the content tab. This is where you'll find all of the information about your posts, including the types of content you post, post efficiency, and your top performing posts. You can organize the results of your top posts according to a few different categories, like interactivity index or active users. It just makes the whole process go by faster. Also, it helps you plan your content in the future. If you're interested in comparing your own brand with another competitor, you can create a comparison group. You can do this with Facebook and Twitter, but Instagram doesn't allow you to get access and compare Instagram stats from a profile that you're not connected to. So for now, we'll just select Facebook. I already created a profile for a few festivals, and I'll compare how they performed. You'll be able to compare them according to the accessible metrics that you can see for both profiles. It'll look the same as before, but now you'll have two lines in a graph instead of one, for example. To quickly generate a report, you don't have to do much. Go into the Reporting tab and select the type of social media you want to generate a report for. I'll pick Facebook for now, and I'll choose a custom time range. Because I want to read it quickly, I'll choose the PDF format. Now I just need to customize what will be included, as well as a few aesthetic options. Now we'll wait and see what the report is going to look like. So at this point, the report is already generated and it's good to go. I'll open it up in a minute, but I just want to let you know that you can always set it so it's a recurring report. So you don't have to come back here each month to do the same thing. You can just plan it ahead of time in the scheduled reports. I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. 
Sochender is a fairly simple tool to use, and you won't have to worry about rushing your reports again or trying to collect data from all of your social media profiles. Remember that there is a free trial version available for the first 14 days, and you're not obligated to pay if you decide to opt out of the tool after that.